Hi, this is Jared from ShoeGnome, and today I want to talk about undo and redo in Archicad. These are two functions that I'm sure you use every day, not only in Archicad, but every other computer program you interact with. But within our program, there are a couple of unique features to undo and redo that will help you work faster. So let's talk about undo and redo. First off, where are these commands? Uh, often in a toolbar. In fact, undo and redo are in one of the default toolbars. And also, you can get to these commands from the edit menu. But you should never go to the edit menu to get undo and redo, and you should never use the little buttons. In fact, if your toolbars show undo and redo, you should go to your work environment schemes and get rid of those buttons because they're a waste of real estate. You should always use shortcuts, which is Command-Z and Command-Option-Z on a Mac, or Control-Z, Control-Alt-Z on a PC. But you know that, and you use those every day, right? You better. And if you aren't, stop using the edit menu and the buttons. Please just use keyboard shortcuts. It's faster. From this point on, I'm using keyboard shortcuts. So let's go. First off, when you undo something. Um, this is probably obvious, but you might not realize until you say it out loud. When you undo something, the element that has been undone is selected. So I'm going to select this slab. I'm going to delete it. Now when I undo it, the element reappears and it's selected. That's super useful and super critical to everything else we do from here on out. Because what that means is undo is essentially another way to select elements in LuckyCAD. So for instance, if we just go ahead and delete a bunch of things, uh, and I've done this in random order, now as I undo everything, it's all selected. So you could use undo as a way to create a selection of elements for grouping or for whatever purposes. So for instance, if we have some lines here, we could go and individually select them to, say, group them or move them. But as you're selecting elements, you have to remember to hold down Shift if you want to add to a group. And if you forget to do that, you have to start it over. But if you just went and deleted these lines one by one, now undo them, they all reappear, and now they're all part of your selection. You can group them, you can move them, you can do whatever you want. Now, let's look at another practical use of undo. So, say you're doing an electrical plan got an outlet and you need another outlet. And you're going to go drag a copy and you say, let's make that six feet, and you're done. But you forgot to drag a copy, you just moved the element. So you want this element where it is, but you also want the old element there. You could undo that, drag a copy, and you know do the work over. Or you can select that element and delete it undo all your work so you have the element in the original position and then <laughs> that should have worked there, hold on, let's do that again, so uh, we drag this and I forgot to drag the copy so we're going to command X, we're going to cut that we're going to undo the work and now we're going to go command V, we're going to paste that in there and this time it pastes, pastes the element rather than a link to a blog post I wrote which is what it should do so anyways, as you can see uh, instead of having to un redo the work, you can use undo to get there. So another example is, say we're going to mirror a copy of these electrical outlets to the other side of the room, and we forgot to mirror a copy. That's fine. Let's just keep working. We move those there. We're going to get these to there. Maybe we even add another one, and let's add another one over here. Okay. So we didn't lose our flow. We've got those all there. Let's select them. Let's cut them undo everything we just did and now we're going to paste and they're pasted back in there. We could have actually even uh, used undo to select those elements because we could have done that and move this one here, this one here, move that one up here, and rotate that. Now we want to select those elements so let's undo to there, let's redo to there cut those, undo everything again, 
get that, say, to where we want, the original state, and then paste, and paste them in. So we're able to work off to where we want, get to a point we're happy with, use undo and redo to get those elements selected, cut them, undo everything we just did, and paste it back in once we fixed the mistake in the beginning. Um, so again, it's, it's just an interesting way to not break your flow and to harness some of the other intelligence that's working behind you in Architect. Um, another thing with copy and paste, which is worth noting, is say we uh, remove this here. We're going to cut that because we forgot to copy. Now we're going to paste. When you paste an element, you'll notice it's in a marquee, so you can move it around, but it's not selected. So you can move it, but if you wanted to do other things to that element, like maybe change its layer or somehow alter it, you want to be able to select it. Fortunately, you can paste it, undo, redo, and now you have that element selected. So let me show you that, that one more time. We're going to copy this whole thing. We're going to paste it. We're going to move it over here. Click off to finish the command. Now we want to select those elements to work on it more. You can go and select it. Or if you paste it, click off undo, redo, now it's selected. And that's going to be way faster. Um, I'll show you another example of this undo, redo, and why it's faster. So let's take this sync, let's copy it up here, and then let's drag a bunch of copies. So now we have all of these copies, and you hit escape and you finish off that copy multiple, or drag multiple copies, and we have the five copies selected, but not the original. If we wanted to select the original to say uh, do some align and distribute work, which here's a link to a video on how to do that, we could go and select the element. But what it entails, let me just undo that, I'm moving my cursor, now my cursor is way over here on the screen, I can go one second, hold down shift, select, now I've got them all. Or, if I just drag the copies, undo, redo, undo and redo and selected everything. So that's faster. And that's really the point of looking at undo and redo in this manner, is that it's about speed. It's a command that works everywhere. Um, read the link to the original post. There, I'm going to have a link to the Help Center, which has a couple of the quirks and caveats about where undo and redo works, like how it works differently in the text box, or if you're uh, writing some GDL stuff. But in general, if you're in the 2D window, a 3D window, a section, elevation, whatever, everything we're showing here is going to work. And that means and it also works with whatever commands you're doing. So undo, redo is this always present, super fast way to select elements, to fix mistakes, to continue working and then fix mistakes from a minute or two back. Uh, and it's about, like I said, it's about speed. and we want to get faster and we want to make the tool invisible because in the end this video isn't about undo and redo it's about getting Archicad to be invisible to the way you work and unconscious so that you can focus on other things because you shouldn't be focusing on Archicad Archicad should just be a thing that works for you um, the last thing I want to point out about undo and redo is there's a limit to how many elements to, to how many actions that undo and redo uh, can handle. And the default is 20, but you can change that. Um, what that means is you keep on doing undo, 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 and undo, and you're going to reach a point, you can hear that maybe, where I can't go any farther back. But if you go up to options, work environments, or sorry, work environment, data safety and integrity, here you can set the undo limit to 99. And what that means is, now from this point on, we can just do a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm not going to spend my time going back 99 steps. But now that I've changed that, Archicad can go back and undo or redo 99 actions, which becomes a huge number and allows you to go very far back in the past. So um, I haven't done research to know if 
increasing the undo Q slows down Archicad in any way. I can't imagine it does, um, which means I recommend cranking that up to the max so you can go farther and farther back in time. That's all I have for you today. Hope you learned something um, either about undo and redo or just I hope I expanded your view of how you can use Archicad and um, how you should be thinking about Archicad and all the features as ways just to make you faster and ways to make what you're doing invisible because again we love this program, we use this program because it allows us to do the things we really care about better. So that's all for today. Thanks.